Hi everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to add animated handwritten text or doodles to your videos. This is always something fun to add to your videos. Sometimes it just adds a more personal touch. You can use this for titles, just text within your video, or just to make your b-roll look cute. Uh, yeah, there are so many ways to use this and I really love using this as a tool for video editing. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video. In this video, what I'm going to be using as an example is I'm going to be using mainly Procreate to create the handwritten text slash doodles um, and then for video editing I'm just going to be using LumaFusion on my iPad but the method that I'm using in LumaFusion you can apply to any video editor um, it's really really easy to do I primarily edit on Final Cut Pro so I can do exactly what I'm going to be showing you guys in LumaFusion in Final Cut Pro um, but just to show you guys on the iPad that I'm going to be creating the designs on I'm just going to edit the video as well to show you guys how it works so let's start our screen recording and I'm going to show you guys the apps that I'm mentioning so I first want to just show you a quick alternative to Procreate if you want something free since Procreate is something you need to pay for. There is a free option called Adobe Fresco. So it's an Adobe app that is kind of more for drawing and things like that, but it can, you can use it for the exact same purpose that we're going to be using Procreate. So that is really nice because it is free. I'm going to put a timestamp on the screen if you want to skip this part where I show this app and you just want to go straight into Procreate since I know that is the more popular app for this. Um, so yeah, there's a timestamp on the screen that you can go to. But now we're in Fresco here, Adobe Fresco, and I'm just going to go with this um, current screen size as my template and um, then for a brush I'm just gonna go to brushes here and choose a different one. I think I'm gonna go for lettering. They have a lettering section Usually people like to use kind of like chalky looking um, Markers for this effect. I think it just makes it look more doodly than just like a straight monoline marker um, But let's just go ahead and look for one Maybe this chunk one, we're gonna try that one. And let's just go ahead and write something. So first off, if you just use the brush as it is, so I'm just gonna letter something. As you can see, it is very um, jagged, not very neat. What you can use to make this easier for you because on drawing on an iPad is sometimes very tricky. What you do is you just go to this option here, which is smoothing and just bring that up. So as you can see there, okay, you can't really see it, but there's a delay between my Apple Pencil stroke and the stroke that is created in Adobe Fresco. I think Procreate definitely handles this better, but yeah, you can see this is what it looks like and it just makes creating um, lettering quite easier. I'm just going to quickly show you here on my phone if I just write a letter. As you can see, the Apple Pencil tip, it's kind of lagging behind it. So that is just something you need to note when you put on that smoothing to 100. There's quite a lag between the Apple Pencil and the lettering itself. But yeah, so you can use that app or we can gonna go ahead into Procreate and use Procreate because that's my favorite one. Before we move to Procreate, do note you need to remove this background to have it in a PNG form because you need a PNG form for this to work. Okay, so now we're in Procreate here. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on a grid to make sure that I am writing kind of in a straight line. For my pen, I'm gonna just use a monoline marker. I just prefer the look of them, but you can use whichever one you want. So let's go ahead and letter something and then we're, I'm gonna show you how to go about animating it. So let's go ahead and just write. Okay, so here's my lettering. So what do you do to get different looks that gives it an animated effect is I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna bring the opacity of this layer down just so I can still see it, but um, just also low enough so that it's not in the way. So in the new layer, we're just gonna go ahead and trace over this exact um, text. And we're gonna try to make it look somewhat the same, but not exactly the same, um, but usually, it's hard to get it like exactly the same in any case. So it will be pretty easy to get like a different look, it, even though it's not too drastic, just somewhat of a different stroke style. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and I'm just gonna make another layer for this. So we're gonna have three different layers with the same text. 
Okay, so and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this one's opacity back up um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the background color so that it is in a PNG format. You can change the color obviously to whatever you want. If you don't want it to be black, you can go ahead and just quickly change those colors to what you want it to be. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save each one of these layers individually to my camera roll. Make sure you save it as a PNG so that it has a transparent background. So we're gonna turn that off, next layer and save. You don't have to create three different layers, two can also work, three just gives it a bit more variety, but you, you can also just work with two um, of these sets of text. Um, obviously you can do this also with doodles, um, which I'm gonna get to, but let's just quickly go ahead and go into our video editor now. So I have a clip here that I wanna add this text over. So let's go ahead and add that in and I'll show you guys how to go about like the editing process and getting it to look animated. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to photos and drag in those images. So it's gonna be this one. So we have them here, as you can see, it's not positioned right at all. So I'm just gonna quickly move it around. So I'm just gonna go into this clip Obviously, again, your editor, you're gonna work with however that editor works, but you just need to position the text where you want it to be. So I'm just gonna put this one here. I think white text would have looked better. Hold on one second. Okay, so we have some different lettering. I just couldn't work with that ones that I had just to make it work more with the scene that we have going on here. So what I would usually do in this case, so I would position it where I want it to be. Then what I would do is in whatever video editor you have, you need to make sure you can copy that clip and then paste the attributes of that clip. So I'm gonna paste the positioning of that clip. Um, so let's go ahead and paste. So then you can see now it's the same size and it's the exact same place on every single clip. So this one again, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on paste attributes and then that's how that works. So in Final Cut Pro, you basically just copy the clip and then paste, command shift paste, and then it will just paste the positioning of your clip. So that is how that works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Hello, this is Editing Kayla here. So I just wanted to show you guys, if your video editor doesn't allow you to copy and paste the way that I just showed you, a way you can make sure that your text is already in the right spot, that you don't have to move it around or anything, is saving an image of your video like this to your camera roll. I just saved this snapshot out of my video. Make sure it's the right size and everything. Um, and then just make a new layer and letter over top of it and make sure the lettering is exactly where you want it to appear in your video. So again, just like I did there, I'm just gonna letter my text this is just very quickly you get the gist make sure all of it is positioned the way you want it to be um, and then just do the same steps that i just showed you over and over so lower the opacity of this one and then just letter over top of it and then when you go to save it make sure you remove your background and the screenshot so now when you import it into your editor it's already in the right spot and you don't have to copy and paste the positioning of your text so that is also a way to work around this if your editor doesn't allow for copying and pasting positions um, so this is really easy to do as well and as you can see now we already, already have this effect but now you want to make the timing right so as you can see right now it's set to two seconds each clip so then this is what it looks like it is definitely too long and you don't get the animated effect so usually i put it at like what is it 0.2 seconds or something 0.20 i'm just gonna try that out and see how that looks for each clip okay let's play that Okay, that's a way better effect. So as you can see, then we have this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all three of these. I'm gonna go ahead and click on copy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on place clips. And I'm gonna do that entire time. So I'm just gonna basically paste those clips over and over again um, until it's lo as long as I want my title to basically appear in my video. So now this is the effect that we get. So it gives that kind of animated effect. It looks more lively than just text popping up and then it's going out. So you can maybe do a cool animation or transition to make this text appear and then go off the screen. But that is how I go about animating these texts to my videos. I just quickly added in a blank screen. I'm just gonna lower the opacity of it. 
So now when I play this clip, this is what it's gonna look like. As you can see, the background kind of got, in, got darker because I added that black and then it's just gonna go away. Um, so that is how I would go about making these animated text slash doodles. Um, you can, like I said, do this with um, like doodles as well. So let's go ahead and just add some of those. Here's it now with some doodles introduced. I just drew some stars in Procreate, the exact same method as I did with the text, just redrawing over them. Um, and this is what we have going on now. As you can see, it's all animated. You can even make the timing a bit different just to not make it look like it's too like robotic or something like that. So that is kind of what we have going on here. Um, it's just, I think it's a really nice touch and it looks really cool. The last thing I wanna mention, which I feel like really adds a lot to these doodles is creating some kind of border. Um, I think it just adds some cool effect to the um, doodles and just kind of rounds it off really nicely. So I would recommend doing that as well if that's something you're interested in. Obviously it's not set in stone that you need to do this. I just think it feels, gives a nice feel to it. So. That is how I go about creating doodles in videos so and making it look kind of animated. I feel like it's a very nice personal touch, especially if it's in your handwriting and all that. It just adds a lot of personal touch to your videos. Again, the editor that I used is LumaFusion, but you can use whichever video editor you have. Just make sure you copy and paste everything to the text, it's positioning and everything so that it looks kind of cohesent. Um, so that is how I go about doing this. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you did enjoy this video, to make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And just thank you so much for watching and spending time with me. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if there are any other questions you might have for me, and I will definitely get to you guys and reply to you. Thank you again so much for watching. Bye!